Hey guys, uh, this is just a quick overview of uh, uh, how uh, I managed to create this uh, tileable texture in Houdini. And as you can see, we have a lot of wireframe going on on this guy. If you go really close to it, uh, we're able to manage to have a uh, amount of triangulation for this pretty high. It's not that bad. Um, I'm going to go and... and show a little bit of the graph for you guys over here and you're able to see how we are we're able to create the the the, the dirt patches and how we're able to create a differentiation used uh, a copy stamping for all of those dirt patches in order to create a, a, a dirt uh, tileable and uh, we're also we're able to create a grass leaf uh, 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 manage to create like a whole graph in order to create this grass leaf and have tons of attributes to it so if i ended up wanting to create the length of it or the width of it or even change the, their colors uh, of the base of the color if i wanted to um, i also uh, ended up creating uh, uh the grass stuffs uh like the grass stuffs themselves are right here uh, and you can see their wireframe if you wanted to um the grass stuffs themselves are are copying through all over uh this grass leaf right here and we're a we're adding a lot of different stamps into this guy um we created different parameters for for this and we're varying their peak uh of the leaves right there uh the tough itself uh comes from a scatter and it keeps going and moving forward uh we also created the the medium pebbles uh, and the small pebbles um oops the opposite uh in order to uh get that uh, on or 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 uh or grass stuff material um i was able to create a pebble maker and in this pebble maker, I'm able to uh, increase the radius, uh, do a lot of different uh, 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 cuts and uh, do a, a lot of different things and change their colors and twist them and do whatever we want with them. Um, on, on, on the color side uh, of things, uh, I was able to uh, uh, create different types of colors for the groups of the tufts. Uh, at the moment, it's calculating the tufts in, in order to, for us to see it. And you're able to see that we have different colors for every single tuft right there. Uh, the graph is not that big. Uh, uh, don't be scared by it. Uh, I'm gonna go through step by step through the whole process. And at the end of it, I was able to create a group for uh, the pebbles and uh, as a tileable uh, a group for the grass itself and a group for the dirt uh, patches as well uh, one of the things that i'm going to show you guys is that how am, am i able to manage to create intersection uh, in between whatever we have in the pebbles uh, right here and uh, some of the grass is actually coming out of uh, outside of these pebbles and they're combining to each other uh, later on I sent off all of these uh, meshes uh, into uh, marmoset and ended up baking them and was able to get uh, 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 into substance and create this uh, material that is stylable and is just fine looking uh, with a bunch of uh, roughness settings and masks that I created. So I look forward for you to give me feedback and, and, and tell me what you think of this tutorial. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.